Kalaya money, Kalaya money, sleep, wake up, eh, eh, Kalaya money. Then I, then I, oh, na, 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 Okay, I need somebody to check in or something. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Shinji's Chronicles. Uh, so in today's video, we're actually checking out two apartments, two off-campus housing apartments in Columbus to be precise. Um, we're going to check out the first apartment today. Oops, what's that? Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> It was in bed like a crow coming towards the car and I was like what the heck um, but yeah we're good and the second one is um what was I where was I I forgot yeah well, I lost track of what I was saying because of some birds but yes I'm back now now the first apartment we will be checking out is a $650 per month apartment in Columbus um, you know, it's close to campus. I believe it's about a 10 minute walk from campus One thing I like is that, you know, water is included in the rent price So you don't have to pay for water separately However, you have to pay for electricity and internet separately on your own But water is included in the $650 price point. It's just a one bedroom one bath apartment It's kind of old compared to the second one like it is an older apartment compared to the second one and there's a community washer and dryer where you pay coin to use like you just i guess put in the coin and you're able to use it however there's no in you need to wash and dry because you know like i said it's just a community washer and dryer but i think that's all you need to know about the apartment so the second apartment is one thousand one hundred and forty eight dollars per month um no utilities it's really included in that price point you have to pay for water light and internet separately and um there's an in unit washer and dryer you know it's a modern updated apartment and you will see from the video like when you compare and contrast you see like the differences in both apartments that okay one is more updated than the other but the second apartment is farther to campus than the first one um so basically um you know i think the first one like i said is like a 10 minute walk and the second one is probably like a 20 minute walk so you probably need a car to get campus from for the second one or you could take the bus because you know the bus system in like the city actually works quite well um so that's just it but we're going to check both apartments out and you tell me what you think you know which one do you like better and what do you think about the price point i know like apartments are actually quite expensive um generally i think everywhere um so like it's not really cheap and you pay on a monthly basis and then you still have to pay utilities but i just wanted to give you an idea of like what an off-campus housing for students is like in this city because it differs by city every city probably you know things will go for different price points and yeah as always make sure you give this video a thumbs up okay like and subscribe to my channel and share this video if you find it helpful just share it with anyone you think might find it helpful so yeah let's go check out those apartments all right people we're here at the 650 dollars apartment so let's check it out you can see right here it has like a nice code i guess security system so you don't i mean you have a key right but you can also just use your pin to access the um apartment so let's go in all righty so this is the living room area literally right by the entrance as you open the door let's check it out so yeah this is the living area as you can see and then um this is like a what do we call this thing thermostat or what do we call it actually used to control the eating and cooling system um so that's nice this apartment is actually really cool right now and then you have the kitchen area so the kitchen is galley style comes with a dishwasher right here you can you have some storage drawers cabinets whatever we call it and then this is your cooker and typically the cookers here come with a fan so like when you're cooking and lights which is really nice like when you're cooking so that you know and everywhere is not consumed with the aroma from the food um and then we have the fridge right here this fridge i'm actually taller than this fridge <laughs> but um this is the freezer and the fridge nice 
I like the lights of the fridge. And then from the kitchen area, let me let's let's check out the kitchen again. So this is the kitchen in full. Yeah, galley style kitchen. From the kitchen area, you come here to this corner and you have some extra storage. So where you can hang your coats and all things like that during the winter or even anytime. You could even keep like your cleaning supplies in this storage as well. Alrighty, yep. And then we come over here, which is like the bathroom. So this is some mirrors and this mirror actually has some storage units behind it. And then you have this um, zinc where you wash your hand, brush your teeth and all that good stuff. And some extra storage as well. Yep. And then you have the toilet which is pink and the bathroom which is pink I, I i don't do pink bathrooms but then again when you're renting an apartment you have no choice so i mean good luck to you <laughs> uh you have no choice with this pink <laughs> right <laughs> but then some folks would like it so all right let's try to open this and see yep some storage behind the glass and then let's move on to the bedroom this is actually a nice size bedroom um, you can see with the ceiling fans and light you can easily um, contain like a queen size bed and you have enough space for like a table and a chair for reading and they have some place to keep your clothes like a closet for your clothes so that's good that's nice all right people yeah so we'll do a final quick walk again this is the bedroom area bedroom bathroom all together some extra storage and this is actually like a, the water heater is actually here and then the kitchen and finally, the living room. So yeah, this is what $650 will get you in an off-campus housing close to campus, like really, really close to campus. One thing I've noticed is that there are some of my friends who live farther away from campus and they were actually able to get a two-bedroom apartment with $700. Um, but that was a little bit farther away from campus. So you kind of have to pick and choose sometimes, but yeah. This is the end of this particular apartment tour. Okay, y'all, we are at the second apartment. Um, this one, you just use like a normal key to access the apartment. And then there's also like a key for your mailbox and the key for to access like the community amenities. And then when you come in, you enter straight up into the living area. Um, it's open style, so the living room and the kitchen are like together, all one open style. But I think this living room is actually quite spacious, like really large. And um, from here, you have your balcony. The balcony is quite spacious as well. Nice, spacious balcony. I need to make sure that I lock everything. The previous occupant is in the process of moving out, so that's why it's currently empty. I mean, you can still see some stuff right here by the side. And then living room, then you move on to the kitchen. Oh, I forgot about the coat closet that you have right as soon as you enter the apartment. And then you know, there's these people I used to see I don't know where, yeah, you can see, you know, who's knocking at your door. And then there's a lot of outlets. There's one right here, one right here, one there, one here, one here, one here. So lots of outlets. And then this is like the thermostat that you use to control your eating and cooling system. Actually, yeah, let me turn it off because, you know, oops, off. All right, that's off, so should be good um and then you have 
your kitchen right here this nice huge island and this apartment actually has like valley style trash so every apartment comes with a trash can where you um you know i think on certain days you put your trash outside and then somebody comes to pick it up so right in front of your door you don't have to like figure out where you're training out your trash so that's one nice thing about this apartment i mean you're paying a lot anyway so <laughs> 11 is not small money right here you can see your kitchen appliances you have this um double door fridge i don't know if that's what it's called but that's what i call it um there's still things in the fridge because like i mentioned in the process of moving out so there you go nice huge fridge you have this microwave you have your cooker and then you also have this dishwasher right here and then you also have like this um nice size pantry actually a mini pantry and this the water eater is like right here and you know you can always put anything you like here so yeah this is the kitchen let me stand here so you can see it's actually quite spacious lots of storage you know when you open all this up i don't know why i'm trying to open it but just lots of storage <laughs> extra storage to like everywhere storage but sometimes i wonder like how do they expect you to access this, this cabinet here i don't i don't get sometimes yeah and then this nice do they call it recess light oh, i'm using bougie language um this nice light here you control it with this which one is the okay this is the light and this is oh. shit um oops <laughs> not in my language that's the what's it called the insignarators i feel like something is wrong with it for it to be sounding like that so yeah and some under the zinc storage extra cabinet as well all right and one good thing about this place is that you can actually access the bathroom right off the living room but we're going to access it from the bedroom so <laughs> so if you have a visitor you don't have to go in through your bedroom before accessing and here we are we have the bedroom nice spacious one bedroom apartment as well and then from the bedroom you have this nice walk-in closet so you know lots of space to store your clothes nice walk-in closet and then in the closet you have your in-unit washer and dryer so this is the washer right here and then this is the dryer right here in unit washer and dryer yep nice walk-in lots of storage you can put your shoes here then you hang your clothes here and all the you know your gowns long or whatever you know all those long clothes you hang it up here and then from here from the uh, let me stand here so you can see as well and then you access the bathroom oops let me turn on the light oops i found on the wrong thing yep this is the bathroom lots of storage as well and then nice walk-in shower And then from the bathroom, like I mentioned, like we have this living area, the space. So yeah, y'all, that's it with the second apartment. I'm just going to do a final walkthrough. Actually, let me zoom out a bit and see. Let's use a different zoom level. So this is it. I switch off the light because you know. Into conserve energy. Right. And that's it, y'all. So yeah, this is the second apartment tour. Okay, so we're going to check out the community amenities. You can see the pool from here. So, 
Yep. So yeah, people, that's the apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you like about each of the apartments, or which one do you like? Um, you know, better. I personally like the updated apartments with uh, just just my style, just my taste. You know, like just as you know what I need. Um, I'm a sucker for in unit washer and dryer. Like you can get me with that. <laughs> so yeah, um, just let me know what you think in the comment section and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. You know, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you're watching without subscribing. Until next time, you know. See ya later. Bye.